people who made a huge life decision based on Reddit advice, how did it go? Long story short, never take financial advice from our Wall Street bets. Ah, the trader face. Quit my job and move closer to work. Best decision I ever made and some people on Reddit gave me great advice. Yes, I did the same, left corporate with a commute in high stress and now live work in the same town. Bike to work and enjoying the university campus vibe. Less dollar but much better life. It took planning though, and totally worth it, badly. I'm short two ribs and I still can't give myself a blow job. In moving to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, one Redditor told me watch out for the Pittsburgh left this is basically when a person makes a really fast left turn against oncoming traffic. Truly solid advice. I'm still alive today after three years here. That said, I truly loathe this place, especially its drivers. Someone four months ago suggested I might be suffering, having social anxiety. Took psychological help and have solved multiple different issues. Nothing major, but still, I feel great. It went really well. Someone recommended opening up to people and so far I'm really happy that I've chosen to do so. While this definitely doesn't apply to everyone, people seem to be happier to help each other than others might think. It's helped me take a much less cynical view of the world and has helped me feel more like we're in this together. I'm a professor, but I studiously, pardon the pun, avoided teaching undergrads for years because of what I read on Reddit by undergrads talking about their professors. I thought I was getting a picture into the mind of the average undergrad and it was so scary I just avoided the monsieur. Eventually, my number came up and I had to do it. I was so anxious that, in the beginning, I was literally sick every day I taught. However, I found my undergrads to be wonderful people, interested and interesting. They didn't expect to passively learn encyclopedic knowledge of the topic as I entertained them like a dancing monkey, still managing to make them feel duly challenged and handing out easy A's. All while acting a personal counselor and waiving my deadlines and lateness rules because of the way the stress of school affected their mental health. It really made my career much harder that I avoided teaching undergrads. And it was purely because of what I read here. Maybe not a huge life decision. But I followed advice on the dating subreddit and took the first step to asking a girl out. Turns out I can't read signals and she was not interested at all. At least I did something though. Yeah, taking a risk is healthy. I'm sorry she wasn't interested. But taking action is often far better than never knowing. I hope you find the other woman who is interested. Because of some posts on a relationship advice sub I worked up the courage to ask out my crush. It was a case of do I risk our friendship for a relationship or just keep wondering. Well I told him and he felt the same way. I couldn't be happier. I was told to fuck myself. Now I have a crippling masturbation addiction. Fuck you Reddit. There was that guy who broke up with his wife and then she killed all their kids as a revenge which still means the advice was good. The issue was the execution. Maybe execution is the wrong word. I hit a lawyer, deleted my gym, and hired my Facebook account. Man, it's been a while since I've heard that meme. Maybe not a huge decision but the, the support I've received from Reddit for my art has been astounding and life-changing for me. I'm still working on getting prints made to sell. Virus has made things a bit difficult. But the fact that people want to buy my work is mind-blowing. I've never been good at anything in my life and without Reddit. I would still think I'm not really good at anything. I was going down some conspiracy theory rabbit holes and came across a comment mentioning the Allies of Humanity briefings. I read them and, well, years later I still cannot think about aliens and extraterrestrial visitation with any kind of optimism. Maybe not a life-changing decision, but I started a job dog sitting on the side through a dog sitting website after I saw people all on Reddit talking about how great it is in posting videos of the dogs they had taken care of. I love dogs and was looking for extra money. 
and I had some experience. So I signed up and ended up making thousands of dollars over the few years I was active on the site. But the best part was spending time with tons of adorable dogs, meeting new people, and making great memories. I wouldn't have known about it if I didn't stumble across the opportunity on Reddit. So it was a surprising and 100% positive experience. I was planning on starting the kind of work this year for summer but I gee I had to change my mind about it but what do you think is a good dog sitting website? I used Rover but there are a few others out there as well. Our Wall Street bets come on out fellas. Saw some advice along the lines of if you're trying to meet new people say yes to things you might not usually say yes to. I had just moved to a new city for school and a guy asked me to form a study group with him. So I said yes. Then he asked me out to lunch. I didn't know him that well and normally would have said no but you know where this is going. I said yes to that too. We ended up hanging out more and became good friends over the rest of year. Now we live together and have been dating for 5 years. All because I agreed to go eat a sandwich with Hi Monsieur can't imagine my life without Hi Monsieur. We still go eat at that sandwich shop sometimes and reminisce. Still alive, sane, and healthy. Can't complain. I once asked for relationship advice. Every reply was so harsh and toxic. All that was said was to leave my relationship when all I wanted was advice on how to fix it. 10 out of 10 do not recommend. Instructions were unclear, got my dick stuck in a ceiling fan. Some people can be quite insightful. It's good to have an ear to the ground, i.e. found a few that have helped me overcome hurdles in my life. Being single, a father, being broke, etc. It's a far better platform than Facebook. This is the biggest difference between Reddit and other social media sites emo. People on Reddit want to discuss ideas and learn. You won't learn anything from Facebook or Instagram haha. Someone told me to stop taking an overdose and given that I didn't want to go to hospital at least. Try throwing it up. After a little bit I decided to stop and then I ended up going to hospital in the end and I'm still alive. They were wrong about it tasting better on the way back up though. I had this disgusting taste clinging to my mouth for hours. I'm glad you took that advice. Asterisk hug, asterisk, hope you're okay now. I sought therapy for my ed years ago on advice from our, lose it and I'm feeling pretty great. Still fat, but way healthier mentally and I eat normally now. Thanks Reddit for telling me it wasn't normal to cry about whether or not to drink a glass of water. I'm dead now. There is a really excellent thread about paying down your mortgage fee. Investing that got me into Reddit. Still a long way to go but it was really excellent advice. Dick got stuck in a toaster. So very well. I started writing erotica 5 years ago for beer and pizza money after seeing someone talking about it on an Ask Reddit thread. I've been writing full time. Though no more erotica. Since early 2015, that thread gave me the kick I needed to start doing writing that made money and helped me transition to doing it full time. I left my wife on Reddit advice. Don't get me wrong. I sort of wanted to do it too deep down. I'm not that weak-minded. I just needed some strangers to tell me I should. Sometimes I'm really happy about it. Sometimes I'm filled with regret. I'm still thankful people gave me the advice and it was a hard decision. So I wasn't expecting it to be easy. It's not as huge as some of the others here. But I bought my car based on advice from Reddit. I don't know anything about cars. But I had a budget and I knew what I wanted out of the car. Some nice folks on Reddit gave me a few options and some feedback on some Craigslist posts I found. And I got a really nice used Honda Accord that I love. My ass will never be the same. Started seeing a therapist online because of Reddit. We will see how it goes I guess. I spent 6 months as a guest of the state of California. Zero tense would not recommend. What happened? Question mark. There were some irregularities in some financial documents. A commenter told me to go fuck myself. 
Terrible advice. Broke two ribs and overextended my hip flexor. Or I found out I'm transgender. It answered a few questions and raised so many more. Well I can never go back to that country now. Got told I would be the asshole if I asked a classmate not to eat during class because it triggers my misophonia. Ended up shredding my arms to get through the classes I sat through. My overall anxiety level spiked a little. I couldn't do any work for that class without hearing all of those disgusting sounds. Ended up getting a B. Don't know how. Turned in all the work on literally the last day and it was crap. God even thinking about it now is making my skin crawl and a sick feeling open in my stomach. I didn't want my mental stuff to lead me to be a rude asshole. But looking back, fuck it, Lexi's habit of eating in class instead of waiting wasn't worth my mental sanity or my skin. Don't eat in class, don't eat in meetings. If you eat in a silent room where people are trying to focus, you're the asshole in my eyes. I'd have told you to fuck off and kept eating. Your mental illness is something you, and only you, can deal with. It's not the job of others to sacrifice their well-being to accommodate you. College is a busy time and sometimes the only chance you have to grab a bite is in class. X to doubt. Well I have no legs now so great. Absolutely terrible. I whipped out my dick in front of my boss to assert dominance, he now fetches me cough. I read on R. Tressless about an asteroid and decided to go on it. Currently in the process of growing braids. And my hair is thick again after a year and change. Haha <laughs> yes I know too well. Signed up in my early 20s but never actually got to go on a study. Started counting calories. CICO. No diet changes. Still eat junk. But limit daily calories. Have lost 8 pounds and I'm actually starting to eat healthier foods. All because someone commented along the lines of just start counting. Don't worry about the food. Not really advice, per se. But I posted a comment a bit over a year ago. And the response led to me moving across the country to a place I never even imagined living. Put less cryptically. I mentioned my expertise in a comment and ended up getting a job across the country. I put my cat in the microwave to kill its fleas, it worked. I asked a woman out on a date after Reddit encouraged me to take a chance. Fuck you all. I made a post on Ask Men on a different username that gained a lot of following. It was about a date I went on with car guy and I mentioned having had lunch with a guy friend named Liam before said date. Someone mentioned, poor Liam is your I bet he is interested. Go for it, Liam and I have been together for 6 years. Married for 3. We are about to start trying to conceive. I managed to stop my friend from committing suicide. My broken arms didn't heal quite right. Our angry upvote. I died. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.